Mainstay DRP is based in Downpatrick and is one of County Down's leading charities, providing a wide range of essential care and support services for people with learning disabilities and their families. Originally known as Down Residential Project, the organisation opened its first residential home in 1992. The organisation grew from a group of parents and carers who at that stage belonged to the Downpatrick Mencap Society. Uh, and they uh, came together out of concern the, about the lack of services for people with a learning disability in the Downpatrick area. And in particular, there was one parent who needed a place for her daughter and the only place that could be found was in the Bangor area. So that group of parents and carers came together and decided over the next few years that what they needed to do was to form an organisation that would provide that range of services in this local area for people from the Down District. I was asked by another member of the Mancap Society to come and see what the meetings were like and I came down and I was very attracted to what they were working towards and I have a brother who's got a learning disability, Dismas, and uh, I think that's really what attracted me to the organisation. Over the last 20 years services have grown in the community but along with the growth in community services has been a significant growth in the population of people with learning disability. So the need for services now is as great as it was then. Mainstay DRP works in close partnership with our local health and social care trusts, offering high quality residential care, day care, respite care and supported housing services. Gordon Kelly and his mother walking in the grounds of one of Mainstay's residential homes. As a child, Gordon was diagnosed with having Down syndrome. From the outset, his mother Hazel and father Jim were well aware of the considerable support that he would need as he grew older. Sadly, Gordon's father developed an unexpected health problem, which resulted in Gordon having to temporarily leave the family home for respite care. My husband had dementia and uh, I uh, benefited greatly when uh, Jim became really uh, what would you say? Uh, well, he was really affected by the dementia. Gordon couldn't understand what was going on. He couldn't understand uh, his dad's condition. And uh, things got more and more difficult at home. And he came in more regularly for respite. And then my husband died. And after his death, the place was still here for Gordon. And uh, in a few, I suppose in about a month or so, I had to make the decision whether I wanted to take that place for Gordon or, or let him uh, live with me. And uh, I eventually made the decision that I would let him come into Inniscora permanently. Uh, it was a very hard decision to make. I uh, found it very, very difficult. And eventually... Things settled down and we found that both benefited, both I and he benefited from the fact that he was living in a school. Robert Skelly's family have seen how residential care has improved his life and his ability to communicate and socialise with others. Before coming to Mainstay DRP, Robert was institutionalised in a long-stay hospital and unable to do many of the simple things that he now enjoys so much. Robert is a farmer's son and uh, just loves the outdoor life here, the gardening, and uh, he has been here some seven years. It's unbelievable what he has been able to do for himself, washing, ironing, cooking, which before he never got the chance to do. I know he's been well looked after and uh, leads as normal a life as possible. This is Roisin Kelly with her brother Basil. Roisin came to Mainstay DRP for respite care when her mother took seriously ill and was unable to look after her. Her mother later died and Roisin was offered a permanent residential place with the project. It gives you a good feeling of contentment. We know she's well looked after. We know she's looked after in every way and we know by 
She has actually come on in leaps and bounds over the years. Ah, uh, Gordon looks after Oh, Gordon looks after her. Gordon's her friend there and Gordon looks after her. But uh, Roshi was always used to being with my mum and we were absolutely amazed at her, the transition when she came in here on a permanent basis. It was absolutely unbelievable. And she loves it. This is their home. They have all a part to play in it. They have their chores. And the feeling to walk into it is just lovely. You walk in, drink a cup of tea, sit down and have a chat. What more could you ask for in your own home? Helen Hurley's son, Patrick, has a severe learning disability and autism. In 2007, while Patrick was being cared for at home, his father, Owen, was diagnosed with a terminal illness. While Helen was determined to spend as much quality time as possible with her dying husband, she still had to cope with the complexities of caring for Patrick. Fortunately, social workers were able to help by arranging respite care for him at Ardcora, one of mainstay DRP's specialised units for adults with autism. Patrick is now a resident of Ardcora. I don't think I could ever be thankful enough for that because... Uh, you can imagine when you're torn between a uh, very seriously ill husband and a very dependent child. Uh, you can imagine how important it was to have somewhere to go and to have somebody to look after Patrick to a level which uh, I knew was a high level and which, uh, you know, almost a home from home. And he had known this place. He had been in here for respite. So it was no strange place to send him out of the blue. He was just coming from one home to another. An increasing number of service users now enjoy the benefits of what's known as supported living. Here staff work with rather than for the individual. Unlike residential care, supported living encourages independence and also promotes social inclusion. Supported living is a relatively new concept in social care. It's about affording in, uh, the individual client the same opportunities, rights and choices as every other individual in the community. So they're afforded tenancy rights. Uh, they are, uh, their plans are drawn on the individual. They're much more person-centred. Since 1995, an important element of the services offered by Mainstay is daycare provision. People with a learning disability don't have the same access to employment, but they need to be gamefully employed during the day. For many people with, who have a learning disability, they live at home with carers. If they don't come along to a daycare service, they would be at home all day with little or nothing to do. This not only meets the needs or interests of the clients, but it also demonstrates Mainstay's commitment to businesses in and around the area. We pride ourselves in spending within our local community, not just because it is in the, uh, the interests of the clients to go 